Hey guys, it's Nadine and welcome to my channel. Today is the very first episode of my new series called What's in Manila? I tend to get into these thoughts when I think that there's nothing to do in Manila or other than like going to malls, there's not much happenings here in the Philippines. But that is completely not the case because I know that there are a lot of creative people in the Philippines and there's so much room for progress and I think there's constantly things that's just popping up and I just really don't know about them. So my purpose for this series is for me to kind of go out there and actually research and search for like what are the new things popping up, what are cool new places to go, things to see, activities to try out. So if you know like any new things happening then let me know. Today we're talking about refilling stations and I know that it's not a very new concept. I know there's a lot of refilling stations all over the metro but I've never been to one! A refilling station, if you do not know, is basically a store wherein you can bring in containers or like your old plastic containers and like refill for various goods. So it is a great way for you to decrease your plastic consumption. We're going to three and a half ones. So the first one is for more household products. The second one is for more body stuff, so shampoos and conditioners. The third one is a food refilling station. So if you're excited, then let's go check them out, all four of them. Awesome. Yes, I'm gonna walk out of frame. The first place we are going to visit is Human Nature. Currently, they have refilling stations at their Commonwealth and SM North Edso store branches. I'm visiting the SM North one. The cool thing about the brand is that they use local ingredients to create natural products. They also empower rural and urban communities by practicing fair trade. Another plus is that they're cruelty free. We got away from the, worst. the available products for refilling are dishwashing liquid, liquid detergent, baby liquid detergent, and baby bottle and utensil cleanser. The reason why they are currently only offering home products for refill is because the FDA is very strict when it comes to personal care products. They are currently petitioning FDA to enhance the current regulation so that cosmetics refilling can become more mainstream. The link to that will be down below. Now it's time to get refilling! Here's how their process goes. They don't let us, consumers, refill our own containers because of the possible contamination. They ensure that their staff is well trained to fill the bottles up for us. The first step is to tear. Give your empty and clean human nature product container to the staff so they can weigh the empty container. They only accept their own packaging because this ensures that the formula of the product will uphold its quality and is compatible to the material of the packaging. Step 2. The store staff fills the container up with your desired product and scent. Next is to weigh the filled container. The price is based on the grams. Then they stick a label that has the batch code and expiry date on it. Lastly, it's time to check out and pay at the counter. Ta-da! One less plastic container used! The second place I visited is the All Things Hair Refillery. They have locations at Trinoma, Glorieta, and Alabang Town Center. The pop-up is there until April 14th. Here, you can get shampoo and conditioner by leading brands Dove, Tresemme, Cream Silk, and Sun Silk. All you have to do is bring your old shampoo bottles of the same variant in order to refill. If you don't have the variants they have for refill, you can still bring your old containers and exchange them for the old things hair plastic bottles. I'm not 100% sure why they don't allow you to just use what you have, but perhaps it's the same explanation from human nature, wherein they just want to be safe and sure that the product is compatible to the container. The steps are fairly simple. First, tear, second, refill, and third, pay. You may also leave other plastic bottles in the station and they will upcycle them for you. I'm really happy that Unilever has this initiative, but in order for it to actually work, they must constantly have other pop-ups so we can keep refilling. Otherwise, the All Things Hair plastic bottle is just gonna be another plastic bottle. The third place we are visiting is Ritual. It's located along Arnaiz Avenue in Makati. Ritual is a small general store where you can get local, eco-friendly goods that are not packaged in plastic. 
they sell different things in glass jars and bottles from food items, drinks and spreads to personal care products such as toners, facial sprays, facial oils, and even mosquito repellent. They sell basic pantry essentials in bulk. Sugar, salt, spices, grains, flours, all local. As well as household cleaning products such as baking soda, borax, and laundry bar soap. You can also get their all-natural liquid soap for refill. They have numerous variants scented with essential oils and this is good for your hands and body. That concludes the three visits to three different refilling stations here in the metro. All in all, I'm really happy that we have these three companies stepping up to decrease the production of plastic. They're really listening to what their consumers need. Now that we have these options, we can make mindful decisions to patronize the companies that are trying to make a difference. I'm really hoping that more and other companies will also step up soon. I'm really hopeful that refilling stations will be more mainstream and accessible to everyone, no matter where you live, where you come from, how much money you make. I hope that that isn't an issue. I'm also encouraging you guys to visit one of the places out, or you can just search for yourself to see if you have a refilling station near you, and let me know how the experience was for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was from my heart to yours. Bye!